Alright, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Wii version. Now, when we last left off, we had just gone around getting a bunch of heart pieces and heart containers. I think. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright, and during this episode, we will be getting all the bugs, well, all that we can to up to this point in the game. And we are going to be getting some more heart pieces and a giant bomb bag. And then we're going to do the Arbiter's Grounds. Oh, and the magic armor too. Okay, yeah. We'll be getting that along the way, of course. And now during the Arbiter's Grounds, we will have to turn off fast depth calculation when fighting the pose. Otherwise, the camera is going to go haywire and then crash. So, you might get a little choppy during that those fights, and a little choppy during the desert, I'm not entirely sure. But I'll make sure it's as best as it could possibly be. So, now, without further ado, sorry for the long wait, let's begin. Now, you see that bug over there? This will be the female dragonfly, okay? Now, what you want to do to get this um, female dragonfly, you want to go ahead and get out your boomerang. Because it's hard to do it with the um, claw shot, but there will be some bugs you will need with the claw shot, so I recommend getting that out too. Alright, so you want to go ahead and, and aim at the um, bug insect and try to lock onto it. Alright, and then it'll bring it to you. And you want to just kind of capture it. As you f There you go. And there's a female dragonfly. Alright, now... For the male dragonfly, you're going to need to go to Zora's Domain. Alright. So just follow along and you'll find out where all the bugs you can get up to this point in the game. Alright. Alright, now once you're in Zora's Domain, you want to take a sharp left. Well, any left will do. You just want to swim over to that... Um, that direction over there, because he's up, he's going to be up there, so you just want to take off swimming here. And I'll see another other way you can get around there, so the only way I can think of is by swimming. <laughs> Unless you guys got another way of getting over there, you guys can let me know in the comments, I guess. The only way I know of is swimming. Alright, now you want to go ahead and grab the male dragonfly. If he just comes down a little lower here. Come on. Gotcha. And there we, there, ladies and gentlemen, is the male dragonfly. Now, what you want to do is bring up Midna here. Click on warp. And I, I would recommend just warping here. Because you'll be able to get all the bugs from there anyway. For the most part. Alright, now... All right, now what you want to do is turn back into um, Link here. All right, now, you want to call your horse here, so you don't have to run across Hyrule Field on your own legs. All right. Now you want to go to Hyrule Field. And then once you get to Hyrule Field, you want to... There's a certain tree that has um, an insect on it. A golden bug, that is. And you want to you wanna kind of go this way here. And there we have it. A bug. Alright, now, I'm going to go ahead and get off this something. Um, now, for this one, you can just kind of run up to him and snag him. Pretty simple. Male beetle. Alright, let me go ahead and turn down my volume thing here. Alright, that's better. Alright. Now, you want to go back and get on a pony unless you want to walk over there. But you want to stay close to your pony, so that way you... However, when you get the next bugs, looks like I'm going to be traveling and getting some of them in during the night. Alright, now you want to come over here. 
Alright, you want to come this way. Now for this one, you're going to have to use the Gale Boomerang again. Or the Claw Shot if you're good at aiming. But I just used the Gale Boomerang. I see you over there, Mr. Poe. Alright, see him up there? He's right there where my cursor is. Alright, now you want to go ahead and... Well, hang on, I got a, an enemy first. Yeah, stunned him. It's kind of weird. Alright, he's taken care of. Hey, there's a rupee. Oh, well, I don't really need it, but I'm gonna pick it up anyway. Alright. Now, get out your L boomerang again. Go ahead and lock on him. To bring him to you. Now, fly around some and land somewhere else, so. What the hell? Ah! Oh, he went underground. So he flew over here. Alright, wanna go ahead and pick him up. Female beetle. Alright, now what you want to do... You can either go this way and go around, but I recommend going this way, seeing how the bridge is out. So you wouldn't be able to get the other phasmid. And this way, you would have to go back, so... Wouldn't have much, and it's shorter too, so you know, you don't have to go all the way around. Unless you like a long distance. I ran over him on purpose because he's ugly. He deserves to die, he's nothing but annoying anyway. Too bad you run, when you run over him, they don't die right there. That would be really nice. Alright, now you'll see that there's an insect, a uh, golden bug, right there. So you want to go ahead and Get off here. Snag him. I think it's the pill bug this time. Yep, the male peel bug. Alright, now for the female peel bug. You want to he keep heading this direction. The direction towards Kakaka Village, but you want to take a sharp left here. And run over here. He'll be in the grass or the flowers or, or whatever. I'm trying to dismount backwards, but I guess it's not going to happen. Alright. Go away, you pest swab. Oh, you're not done yet? Oh, I haven't learned the moral draw yet, that's right. <laughs> I was thinking I had to learn it. Uh, silly me. Okay. Oh, there he is. I mean, there she is. Oh, this one likes to hop and move. Ah, the female pill bug. Alright, now, you want to head conveniently to Kakariko Village. I say conveniently because there's conveniently two more there <laughs> in Kakariko Village. One, technically speaking, one's in the graveyard and one's in Kakariko Village, but still in Kakariko. Alright, now, I recommend getting the one side of the building first. Alright, stop about right here, I suppose. And then... Head this way. I guess I could turn it up a little pinch. Alright. Oh, I just turned it down a pinch. Alright, now you see that thing, glowing thing over there? This is gonna be the... Female ant. Alright, now for the male ant... You guessed it, the graveyard. Alright, now, so you want to go ahead and take your pony with you here. Well, most of the way. Come on, your pony, it's fine. Ugh. Come on, your pony, quit running. It's just a bunch of freaking crows. Who cares about them? Let's go. Alright, Yipona can't come with you to the graveyard, obviously. Even though she could easily fit through there. Literally, yeah. Alright, now he'll be by the tree at the back of... Sorry about that. By the back of the graveyard here. You want to watch out for that Poe. Because I'm not exactly in the business of killing him right now at the moment. Until I actually have to. And there we have the male ant. Alright, you wanna go ahead and go ahead and leave um the 
graveyard here. All right. Now, you went ahead to the Great Field, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it's called, but in any event. You went ahead to the, I'm going to call it the Great Field. That has falling edges around it, where you can fall and volleyball, fall forever, basically. All right, now this place is going to be littered with those running warthog guys. So I'm going to have to, have to take care of those idiots first. Unless I'm quick about it, I could go ahead and grab it. Yep, they're littered with it, aren't they? Great, I'm going to have to fight them. So this will probably be a while before I'm done. But as you can see, if, if you notice that, there's a bug right there. Damn, is it just me or is the opponent just too fast for these guys? Yeah, and to think that I'm going to have to walk across this field carrying a barrel full of hot spring water. Yeah, that's not going to go over so well. Good job, opponent. Walked right over that, didn't you? <laughs> Bring it on, suckers. I'm Link. I can't be defeated. I'm the undefeated Link of the world. Alright, now, maybe I have enough time to go ahead and get this bug over here. Oh, I just passed it. Ugh. Guys are so annoying. Alright, now, the bug, golden insect, will be up right there. Now, he'll piece it. Uh, the grasshopper, so I'm gonna bring him to you. Of course, there's a guy approaching me, so you know, I don't know how that's gonna end. At least I managed to get him, though. Sorry, Epona, I kind of jabbed you. Come on, Epona! Ah, kept attacking poor Epona, so I couldn't get on her. Stupid annoying. You're so vexing. I just jumped over the warthog and I didn't even hit him that time. That's just funny. Alright, so that's where that um, insect is. I'll show you on the map as soon as I get a chance. And you've probably seen me on the map, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, you can always go back and check for yourself by um, rewinding this. Alright. Now the next one is going to be out here in this big ovally shaped place. About right this direction. I'm, yep, see? There it is right there, see? Alright, now you want to go ahead and stop the opponent right here. And get off of her. You know, want to use... The, and I guess maybe if you walk real slow, they might work. I have no clue. Let's try that, shall we? Oh, no, it doesn't work. Alright, so, you want to go ahead and use your Gal Boomerang here. Bring him over to you. I guess if you walk slower than that, it might work. I have no clue. And there we have the female Grasshopper. Now, you want to go and get the male Phasmin while you're still here on this side of it. So you want to come this direction over where the bridge is. Oh, the broken out of place bridge. Anyway, that is. You want to ride like boat the wind. Over there, I suppose. Hello, guy. See, there he is, right there. I think he's the male phasmid, I'm pretty sure, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and shoot for him. And there we have it, the male phasmid. All right. And it looks like day is starting to come up, which is good. So we'll see better. All right, now all you want, all you gotta do is backtrack. All right, and we'll get let's see, four insects. Oh well, no, wait, six insects along the way until we get the phas, the female phasmid. We'll get six golden bugs. 
along the way. So, just keep your wits about you, I suppose. Stay away from me, giant bird thing. I mean it. Better stay away from me. Alright, you just basically want to ride until you get through here and stuff. Yeah, I don't mean that to sound weird or anything, but yeah, ride until you get there. See where my cursor is on the map? Right about there is where um, you'll find one of them. And right about right here is where another one is. And right there and right about right there or so, whatever. Stay away from me. And then we'll have some that are right there and right up there somewhere. And then um, female phasmid is on the complete other side of the bridge. So from where we were at to get the male phasmid, just to let you know. Man, I was trying to run over him, but I missed him. But I got you. Haha. <laughs> I won that race. I guess we can enjoy the music some, why not? Notice that chest up there too. Alright. About right here is well where one of them will be. I'm not sure if it's female or male, but you know there's one of them right here. It'll be exactly right there. See him? Alright, so you wanna go ahead and well, I gotta aim it. Alright, so you wanna go ahead and lock onto that golden bug. Alright. And there we have the female mantis. Now, the male mantis. Why are you jumping up and down, Epon? It makes no sense. Alright. Now, the male mantis is going to be on the other side of this bridge while I run you. Oh, shoot. Sure. Didn't run you over, though. See him? He's right there. First, we got to take care of this goon over here first. So it doesn't disturb anything. Now he has a tendency to move when you're aiming at him for some reason sometimes. Yep, see? He likes to move. So you, I think he flew around to the other side here. I hear him. But I don't see him. Yeah, that's why I hate this one, because he likes to move if you're not fast enough. Wait, was that him? No. If I could just get over there, you know, it'd be nice. I have an idea. I'll draw him out by doing this. Oh. Hopefully that did something. I hear him, but I just don't see him. Oh, that little turd's gonna pay when I get my hands on him. Alright, well, while that one's um, floating around, I guess we can go ahead and move on here. this side, I suppose. Movie Pona. Maybe he'll come back out of hiding. I 
Man, if I could just see over that ridge. Maybe if I get on any point, I'll be able to see better over that thing, th over that thing here. Okay, that's not working. Okay. This is the one I hate the most. Ugh. If I could just get his attention somehow. Stir him up or something here. I hear the damn turd. Maybe I gotta get far away over here, maybe, perhaps. No, that doesn't work. Ugh. I hate this thing. That stirred his ass up. Okay, you know what? Forget about him for now. Oh my god. He wants to be as stubborn as a mule. Oh. I'll be a son of a bitch. Was he, was he there the whole damn time? Oh my god. He gave me such mayhem. I didn't see him not once move over there. Freaking Mel Mantis. I really hate the Mel Mantis. Oh my god. I was about to leave too. Move on to the next bug. And just come back and get him later. You guys seen how fucking troubling that was, now didn't you? You didn't see him move over there. I want to see what your opinions are, that are in the comments, okay? What you guys think of that? All right. Now these two bugs won't be so difficult. Thank God. Well, it's not that he was difficult. I just had to find a little bigger first. All right, this is the part where you're gonna need your claw shot. You wanna claw shot your way up there and fast before that guy shoots you. All right. Ugh. All right. Now you wanna go ahead and grab that bug. Um, female butterfly. Alright. Alright, now the next one is going to be oh, on the other side. Let's try the B version. Duh. Okay. And there will be the male butterfly. Smart thinking, Link. Smart thinking. Oh, that was close, too. He almost na he nicked me there. Of course, he's gonna get me when I'm getting on the horse, because he's making so slow getting on the horse. Alright, now... Oh, we want to do that last. Alright. Now, you want to go ahead and go to the beginning of, well... I don't know what it's called, Upper River or whatever. I suppose that's what it's called, Upper Zora's River. Well, not really Upper River, maybe. Alright, now, I'm gonna go ahead and dismount. Oh, there, now he does it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of him. And he's gotta do the flourishing there. Alright. Now, you want to go ahead and not have that out. Come on, stop it, Link. All right, now you want to go ahead and get your go boomerang out of here. Lock onto that. Now, this is going to be either the male or the female stag beetle. Up, uh, male stag beetle, so that means the female stag beetle's up on the top there. So I guess you want to go ahead and get on Epona here. And 
right left the window. Now there's some tech tags over here, so you want to be careful. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them first so they don't stop you. Oh, sure, get off the horse real slow. Seems sanitary to me. It gets rid of them a lot faster. Alright, see him up there? Or her, or whatever. And you can go ahead and use your gel boomerang here. And nab him. Alright. Go ahead and grab him. Grab her. Ugh, keep calling him, her. Alright, now for the female phasmid. Or male or whatever. You want to go ahead and ride this way. For the female phasmid, that is. Now, you want to ride fairly fast, otherwise that's going to happen. But I ran out of whippers. Or you can just avoid them all together. Whatever you want. Or run into them, that works too. Are just running super speed fast by them. But I'd recommend running toward into them. I know it seems kind of silly, but running into them actually makes them jump t too far and then they miss you. Uh, I lost my path, but I'm pretty sure it leads to both the same place, both paths. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, now for the male. For, I mean the female phasmid. You want, now this is one you want to use your claw shot because the the gale boomerang won't reach. Oh, oh, it's not that that doesn't reach. It's the uh, it's the gale boomerang that reaches. All right, so you want to go ahead and use the gale boomerang on every single one of the insects. I guess I was wrong about that. All right. And there we have the female phasmid. Now you just wanna, oh, I guess I could just go ahead and warp the back there. I don't see what the big deal is here. All right, so let's go ahead and warp back there. Goes a lot faster warping than riding when we don't have to. All right. We don't actually have to transform into a person. We just gotta go through Castle Town to get to the other side. All right. So we just have to ride, my, you know, run, basically, through Castle Town here. Oh, I'm not gonna eat ya. Goron doesn't seem too scared of me, though. That's a plus. Alright, now I can go ahead and transform back into a person now. Alright, now... I'm walking this direction because there's a ghost right there. Poe. Alright, now... This is either the male or the female ladybug. I'm not sure which. He likes to fly away. I'm not going over there. I guess I have no choice. Ah! Okay, that's it. I'm bringing it to me. Oh my god, are you really going to be that stubborn? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, the female ladybug. Boy, I didn't think if, uh, ladybugs would give me so much trouble. <laughs> That's news to my ears. To tell you what, man. All right, well, I guess the, the male um, ladybug will be over here in those patch of flowers. They usually don't fly away from me. That's weird. And there we have the male ladybug. All right, now... You know, during the day, the um, bug lady is actually out here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to you real fast. 
Hey, you are that human, yes? The other Gorons told me about you, brother. Just take a look at these rocks. Amazing, was there a landslide or something? What are you t doing here anyway? Brother, are you trying to pass through here? If I drink some hot spring, yeah. You can't do that yet until we do the, um, fix the road, uh, road, um, side quest and the magic armor side quest, which is basically all in one pointed to being the magic armor side quest anyway. Now, I would go ahead and just defeat that ghost over there. Let me see if it does, um, hang on. Oh, it does aim right with that um, thing checked off. Well, that's good to know. I wish I would have known that earlier. It'd been nice. Let's go ahead and uh, try that one more time. Oh, it doesn't aim right. <laughs> okay, so I was fooled. I fooled myself. Oh my god, look how close I got to the edge there. I thought I was going to start loading. Alright, now you want to go ahead and go to Agatha's castle and give her all these insects that you've gathered so far. Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. But you're not a bug, you're a person. Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tells me you like bugs too. Ooh, boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the princess of the bug kingdom. Agatha is my name. I have invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but I don't know if they got lost on the way or what. But they're not here, that's for sure. If you see them, would you please bring them here to Agatha's castle and tell them the princess awaits? Oh boy, if you have a bug with you, now please give it to me. The ball must begin. Have you brought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? Yes, I did. There, have a nice... Oh, 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 boy! Who's your friend? You're a little male ant, aren't you? You're little cutie. Little ant, little ant. I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. It's kind of creepy. Oh, boy. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. You actually went bug hunting for me, didn't you? To be honest, I doubted you would. I guess some might consider me a poor-mannered princess. From now on, if you bring me insects, I'll share my happiness with you. You can keep it in this. Ooh, big wallet. I wonder if there is a partner for little male ant somewhere close by where you found this one. If any bug becomes part of a pair, I think I'll be able to share great happiness with you. All right. Have you brought it? Have the female ant. Oh, yes, we have a pair. Don't those little bugs look so look happy? Allow me to share this happiness with you. 22 bugs left until I have them all. Oh, I hope that you'll keep bringing them here. You will, right? Oh, I will. Until they're all done, that is. Only if the texts are new, I'll, I'll read it. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and give her all these bugs. It's too bad I don't really. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Twilight Princess has gotta be my either my number one most favorite game of Zelda franchise in the world or Skyward Sword is, I can't pick which. But if I gotta choose I'd say Twilight Princess definitely beats um Skyward Sword by a mile. My mom seems to be calling me, but I can't move from this spot as I'm recording. Yep, I'm bringing lots of bugs to your party. Lots of golden bugs indeed. You're very much welcome, Agatha. Male stag beetle. I'm recording right now. Which means I can't move from this spot. And as an answer to your question, I don't want to come of the cookies right now. <clears throat> I just wish I could get through this damn thing here. Ugh. Well, I have to do this. Uh, it's part of the game. Get rid of all these golden bugs. It's a little tedious. Only at the end when giving all these bugs is tedious. Why can't I just give them all of the bugs at once? That'd be nice. Should be an option to give her all these bugs at once. Yeah. It's one little thing that could have improved on in this game. Or could have at least changed in the Wii version. At least. Thanks for all the money that I can't even hold. I got that. Giving me all this money and I can't even use none of it. Kind of stinks. In any event. Yeah, don't worry. This one has a partner too. I make sure I make it a and a point to give them all partners. It's kind of the idea. If I do say so myself. Because I'm looking to get that giant wall of yours. Eventually, yes. Yeah, I guess Princess Agatha is a little on the cute side, but also a little creepy when it comes to talking with others. Yeah, that's for sure. Who's my friend, you say? It's a golden pill bug, I think it is. At least that one is. Anyway. Six more leftage. Well, you're about to have four more left.
Male dragonfly. You're welcome. Now I just gotta give you four more. Alright, now that that's finally done, let's go ahead and leave here. At least she didn't do that creepy, I know you have bugs. Probably because I gave her all the bugs I had. <laughs> Alright. Now, you want to go ahead and, I guess, warp to Kakariko Village. No, I don't want to talk to you. I know what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, can't transform here. <laughs> I'm silly. There's someone standing right next to me and I want to transform. How dull would it can I possibly get? I didn't even notice her until I started moving. Could be to do with the fact that it was dark, I suppose. Alright, now you want to go ahead and um, warp to Kakariko Village to start the magic armor side quest. I guess. It <clears throat> and also the start of getting um, the heart pieces as well. Alright, transform back into a person. Although it is night, so it might be closed. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yep, it's closed. That's lovely. Alright, well, I suppose I... No, well, no, I couldn't. Alright, well, I gotta go wait outside here. I guess while I wait, I can go ahead and get some heart pieces. I don't see why not. So I guess I suppose I could do that one quest um, while I wait um, here. Let's go ahead and warp to here. I really want to uncheck this for the aiming. We can go ahead and get these heart paces while we wait. First, I want to go get this um, giant um, bomb bag or whatever. It allows us to carry all bombs. Let's do this little mini game here until it's daytime. Hey, welcome. Thanks to you, we are back in business. Well, we can't offer much, but just make yourself at home. And of course, if you want a boat, a boat ride, just let me know. I'd be happy to rent you one. For a rental free fee of 20 rupees, you can get a boat and a guide. You want one? Rent me one. Okay, now hop in. You all set? Have a good ride. All right, now, for this one, we want to make sure we get a good aiming in here. Oh, no, don't go that way. Gotcha. All right. Ah, didn't quite reach it. <laughs> Do not hit that side link or else I'm going to be mad. Alright, there's another one approaching. Got it. Got the red one. Yeah, the red ones are worth the most. That's for sure. I missed one. Well, as long as I don't hit anything, I'll be fine. Kind of like that. 
Oh, hey, I only lost two, so it isn't half all that bad. Ah, I got it. Yeah, I only lost two. That isn't too terrible. Oh, shit. That's terrible. I'm gonna keep that up. Last one. Ah, uh, I didn't quite get enough. That's okay, probably isn't day yet anyway, so I think I could do this again. Besides, I'm kind of having fun doing this anyway. Oh, it is daytime. Okay. I guess I'll have to do this again whenever I come back around here again then, huh? Alright then. Because I was originally planning to do this on our way to Arbiter's Grounds. So, I guess we got another chance, another shot at this. Alright, on this trip? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, I have some business I need to take care of. At least that was a good warm-up until I do the real thing. I guess I'll give myself at least three tries. And if I don't get it within three tries, then I'll just move on to Arbiter's Grounds and do that some other time in the game, like I suppose. Alright. Now, Kakariko Village. Give them all this money that I earned and didn't earn, I suppose. Of course, it would be best to turn into a human here. All right. It would have been nice if I got 25 right there, though. But, you know, hey, that wasn't original when I was planning to do that anyway. So, and besides, I really do want to do that again. That was fun. All right, now we want to give him 4,000, well, 3,000 rupees, I suppose. Yeah, their bridge is out. I know this. I'm aware of this. I just want to give you your money you want. Ugh! Come on, shitter! There's your 600, now 400 more. There's your 1,000. Alright. Uh, he wants 2,000 more. I'm so glad I got that cheat on. Very glad indeed. So I to constantly give him the money over the course of the game. Never getting hardly the magic armor. Today marks the day that another legendary establishment is born. You should travel to Castletown later. Thank you for your cooperation, brother. Alright, now for hauling a barrel across the um, great field. Begins. Oh, fantastic. I hate this part, though. Unirana! Monirana! Okay. Eek! Long, long ago, I predicted that you would come, <laughs> come, my brother. Tell me, my brother, did you not see a young Goron in Castletown? 
He has yet to come back, even though they say the Westgate Bridge is fixed. Perhaps you could look you could look in on him for me, my brother brother. I suppose I could, but first I need to get my horse. You know, it kinda stinks. I wish I could carry my horse across Harrowfield. That would have been even more better. Instead of to do it on foot. Come on, Epona. I need ya. Yeah. Won't be able to use your point across high field, high real field. I mean, when I get back, of course. Or a higher, I said high real field. Actually, it's just a field. A bigger field than high real field, yes. For sure. Mr. Link, wait! Oh, bother. Why, it's you, Mr. Mailman. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Melo Mart. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. All right. Now you want to go ahead and head this direction and try to ignore them idiots. You don't need to worry about them just yet. But soon we will have to. It's gonna suck. Ah. I do not feel like doing a thing. Now the bridge is fixed, but my body feels terrible. I just cannot go look for stuff to sail. You know, all I really need is to shower myself with some piping hot spring water to get back to feeling normal. All right then. The annoying quest begins. Which means I better get up my sword, my um, bow and arrows because I'm going to be needing it this little quest oh. go away you are not wanted and that's a fact Jack I say that while I scratch my head <laughs> Alright, now the perilous journey to carry that thing across that field begins. And it's also timed, which is the major problem in it all. Alright. Go ahead and talk to this guy. This might cake take a couple of tries. Did you go see the young Goron in the castle town? <laughs> I am far sighted in all things, my brother. I am sure he is hanging his head somewhere around the west gate right at this moment. Here is the plan, my brother. I will prepare some hot spring water and you will douse that young one in to revitalize him. Would you, would you do? What do you say? Will you do it? Yes. Oh, I see. I am counting on you to make the run, my brother. Hot spring water cools as time passes. So, if you do not hurry, you will end up with plain old cold water, my brother. Well, that's about as realistic as a dumbbell. So, I guess I want to be careful then, huh? Go ahead and set that there. Got you. Go ahead and pick that up. And that's a run, baby, a run. Of course, I'm going to have to face some idiot along the way. Or he's going to knock this off my head.
Gotcha. Alright, we can just run the rest of the way now. We're safe. Of course, I don't want to go into that gray patch. If I go in the gray patch, I'm pretty much done for. This lake is so slow. Say, is that some Kakariko hot spring water you have there, brother? If you poured it on my on me, I am sure it would restore meet my strength. Got him. Woohoo! I feel rejuvenated. This that smell, that heat. It is spring water from back home. Well, I am going to get back to work and open up the shop. Oh, he's definitely revitalized, that's for sure. Because he brings it across our field like it's nothing. Yeah, see? He just does it like it's nothing. Of course, if I went that fast, I would too. <laughs> Alright, thank you for the nice, awesome piece of heart. Alright, now just to get that magic armor. And it costs exactly $598, or rupees anyway. Well, that's what it is going to cost, yeah. Goodbye. I don't want to see your faces. I don't care about you either. Hey, thanks for the arrow, by the way. Much obliged. Yeah, like I said, I'll give myself three tries on that little thing. Alright, now what you want to do... Before... You do anything else? <laughs> I'm gonna go see, say hi to somebody. Uh, I want to make sure I get my um, fishing rod out here. Ah, oh, there you are. Ho, oh, I remember you, brother. Ho, oh, I remember you. Okay, I get it. Thanks to you, we are now able to open up shop again. I will give you a special price on hot spring water. How is 20 rupees? Sounds awesome. Bye. Got it, brother. I will provide you with some steaming hot water. Yeah, I know it gets cold. Alright, now let's go ahead and go to the courtyard. Alright, now I can go around this way now. Alright. Oh, there's Agatha. Thanks to you, I have 20 bugs ready for the ball at my castle. We only need four bugs more until all of them are here. Please do your best to find partners for the, the ones that are not already paired up. I got all of them paired up so far. If I drank some hot spring water, it might give me the strength to break through a big rock fall like this. Hey, brother, if you find some hot spring water, you should come see me again. Yeah, something's wrong. See, it doesn't usually do that to me. I had some hot spring water, see? 
That's weird, isn't it? I guess I gotta go purchase some more. Ugh. That happened to me last take I did on this I'm recording. I had to go and do it twice. Makes no sense. I had hot spring water right there in front of his face. And I just doused it on his feet. <sighs> That's weird. I had a feeling that was gonna happen again. Alright, give me some more. Thank you. Surely it didn't go cold that fast. That would have been kind of silly, don't you think? Alright, well, let's go give him the spring water again that we wasted on his feet. Shall we? Well, it doesn't make no sense, but you know, hey, I'm not judging. And this is the last thing I gotta do before I go ahead and do that um, river thing again. And I get three, I'm giving myself three tries, I'm just moving on. If I drink this? Hey, brother, if you find some. What? Okay. Maybe if I do this. Oh! Huh. Oh, I see what's happening. I think it's because I had that skip EFB access from CPU checked. See, is what it does, it deletes some game features. I think that's what was going on here. I gotta have that unchecked when I buy it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be ordinary water every single time. I think that's what's doing it. I think that's the culprit. Because that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna buy it and see what happens. Buy it here. See, he's supposed to drink it, see? Like that. Alright. So what I dumped on him was... Alright, now I'm gonna try and do something else. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this one. And I'm gonna check it on and see what it does. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's see what... Oh. I guess when it loads, it undoes it, I guess. Alright. Bye. Alright. Let's go there again. This time I'm gonna move fast. Certainly it shouldn't turn to spring water by the time I get there. Brother, you have some s- uh, yeah, I thought so. So it was that check on thing. Have some sweet uh, of hot spring water. Alright, let's bring it on already, will ya? I've been at this forever, it seems like. <laughs> yes! Goron power, go! Well, I am going to get working on this, so you should come back in a little while. You know, more like several days in the game. All right, let's go ahead and warp to Upper Zora's River, shall we? Because that's where we need to be. Now, like I said, I'm giving myself only three tries. First, before we do that, there's a bottle I want to get and a piece of heart. So, before I go and tackle that thing three times, or how many it takes, puts in those three times. All right, now, what you want to do? You want to come over here to the lake, and each time you go in and out of this place, the se uh, seasons change. All this, it goes through a cycle of all the seasons. All right. Now you want to go on in here and meet a cute little thing. 
I guess if that's what you want to call it, I suppose. Alright. It's 20 rupees to try some lure fishing. There's no time limit, and the canoe rentals included. Want to give it a shot? Boy, yes I do. Okay. Okay. Well, seeing as how this is your first time and all, I'll throw in a guide service for free. Let's get fishing. Actually, I'm just going to be fishing for your heart. And it's right there, I see it. Now, throwing a fishing pole on the Wii version is a little tedious <laughs> at first, when you first learn to do it. Alright. Raise. I missed it. Aim out here. Oh, why did I do that? Ah, uh, yeah, you want to shake the nun check for. Why do I keep doing that? Ugh! Come on. See, that's what I mean. There we go. Got it. I got, what's that? A piece of heart? Who? whose heart did you catch, you big sweetheart? <laughs> Don't be shy, this one's yours to keep. Ooh, seems like I got some bromance brewing. When you, oh, let's check. Oh, yeah, I want to quit. Call it quits. Yes, I really want to quit. I just came here for that. And uh, an empty bottle. Too bad this time, huh? Oh, well, it happens. Well, better luck next time. I wasn't really here to fish for actual fish. I was there to just fish for your heart. And your lake. So, I hope you don't mind. Are you telling me it's already getting close to day? I mean, um, night already or something here? Alright, well, I want to go ahead and get out my own rod here. This might cap take a couple casting, but... It's worth it in the end. Okay. Let's go ahead and cast this bad boy. Fish on! Oh, I got my empty bottle on the first try. Oh, yes, that's my prize. I got three empty bottles now. Yay! All right, now we get to go do the, the canoeing down the river again. Three times if I lose, th three times. All right, let's do this again, shall we? Now, this is when I actually had planned it, you know, before it was night and I couldn't go in that building. This is when I was actually going to do it. Alright, well, I'm going to need that unchecked. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this again, shall we? Yeah, I know, you already told me this. All right, let's do this bad boy, shall we? I'm gonna be quiet so I can concentrate. Ugh, that's not concentrating.
All right, bring them on. Ah, I got 26. I got one over 25. Oh, I did good that time. That was excellent. Actually, that's actually my highest score I've ever gotten on that, as far as I know. Since playing it on this emulator. That's as far as I've ever gotten. Yeah, it's really endowed. Baby, yeah, I'm so proud. I got a new record! One over 25. All right, 20, yeah. Thanks for your patronage. Much obliged. Much obliged. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this trip down river you scored a whopping 26 points, destroying targets. Congratulations! As the first customer to score at least 25 points, you receive this prize. A giant bomb bag! It can hold twice as many bombs as ordinary bomb bags. Yeah! The exact number it can hold depends on the kind of bomb. Come again anytime. Yeah, yeah, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about. A whopping 26 points. It's better than I've ever done. Alrighty then. Oh, baby, I'm so cool. I'm so slick. I'm so awesome. Okay, well, that's enough. I'm so proud of myself. All right, now, let's go ahead and get this next piece of heart. Surprisingly enough, it's in um, the spirit dwelling place, the light spirit place. Yeah, this is probably going to swim, though. So we want to make sure we have that out. Oh, we can do that in the water, can't we? That's right. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to get the magic armor, didn't I? Well, hey. I'll tell you what. I'll get the magic armor after I do this part up there. Good girl's murd. Because I can just warp back here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So we want to get out our lantern here. And open up a door that kind of looks like Slytherin. <laughs> from Harry Potter, of course. That's what that's from. Something tells me this is just... Oh! That's actually what I want to, was wanting to get. Some bombs. Well, I don't need that, obviously. But, anyway. The game apparently thinks I do. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is another piece of heart. 
Yeah, yeah, baby. All right, let's go ahead and get this piece of heart. And all I need to get is two more. Well, all right then. Two more it is. Go ahead and get out of here. That's weird. I feel like I'm missing a heart piece. I think I might have forgotten one, I think. Hmm. Well, I'm going to Hyrule Castle Town to buy the magic armor right now anyway, so I guess I can stop by um, the fortune teller on my way there. I'm going there to buy that magic armor. That's $598. That's right. I forgot. I never did go in there to get to show you what it was like beforehand, did I? My bad. I know I'm forgetting one, obviously. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out. I can't believe I'm forgetting one. It's weird because... Hmm. In any event... I think they're open 24-7. Alright. Let's go ahead this way. And stop on by the fortune on our way there, of course. It's weird. How could I possibly be forgetting one? Yep. Tell it. Love. That says, wait, loading takes a while. That's what it says backwards. <laughs> oh, that's the one that I'm missing. Okay. I get ya. So it looks like we still gotta go get a piece of heart then that we forgot. My bad. But first, let's go ahead and purchase this magic armor, shall we? I think it's open 24-7. I want to use magic armor going through there, even though we don't even need to. I know, it's silly, but I still want to wear it. I just think because it looks cool. Yes, I will. You'll buy it now if you're smart at Melo Mart. Welcome, welcome grand opening sale going on now at Castletown Melo Mart. 20% off, 30% off. Of course, why not? We look out for you. The hero of discounts. That is us, Melo Mart. Buy it now. If you're smart, make your selection using... You know what I'm purchasing. It's exactly 598 rupees. Alright, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Shop again sometime. Come on, I just look sweet wearing that. I do, don't I? Alright, well, let's go ahead and warp halfway there. Well, at least as close as we can get. Oh, that's right, I can't warp around everyone. Oh, man, I should have known that. All right, we can warp out here. All right. Let's warp most of the way there. Eh, 
You know, I guess the only way closest that would be is here, so let's go ahead and morph there. Of course, it would be a lot faster if I had my horse, but hey, I got wolf legs, so. Alright. I can't believe I forgot this piece of heart. Ugh, I feel so ashamed. But I guess not even I'm perfect at remembering every little thing. I had this episode all planned out because I had done like several recordings uh, ahead of time and I still forget something. Just too much to remember, I guess. I guess so. Of course, I would think it would go a little faster. You know, I could warp all the way there, you know, everything. Yes, I know there's a Poe right there. Well, we're not interested in hunting down Poe's right now. We'll probably do that until we've got almost everything else in the game. Done. Or at least until we got access to every place in the game. That's when I intend to do it. Once I've gotten access to every piece of the map on the game and be able to go anywhere, then that's when I'll do the hunting of the pose. Probably right after I'd finished doing the, um, the ice mansion of doom or whatever you want to call it, I guess, I, I suppose. Good news is, once I get through this place, I'll be able to warp out anyway, so anyway. Leave me alone, or I will come back and attack you. Yeah, I find it's a little faster walking on all fours than running with two legs. When it comes to getting to places, wolf is faster. That is for sure. Definitely for sure. I think I just took the longer route. Oh, well, who cares? I'm there. I'm here. So it doesn't much matter. Alright, let's go ahead and transform back into a human here because we're going to need to use the claw shot. That's why I thought I needed the claw shot before. Go for that. Alright. Let's go ahead up here. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to head through it here, of course. Alright, now you want to make sure you have the iron boots on here for this part. Or if not, you're going to fall into the big giant pit of lava. <laughs> Goodbye. You are not, not sorely missed. Actually, you're sorely definitely unmissed. Is that more accurate thing to say? I will be taking out the magic armor and playing without it for the majority of the game. Oh, I just don't want to wear it forever, unless I have to. Because I don't want to play invincible the whole time, because that's basically would be the same thing. Sure, it looks cool and be nice if I could wear it all the time, but I want to play the game invincible. That's just silly. Preserve my. Ah. Uh. I'll probably find a way to get rid of that noise in the future. So don't worry about that. And there we got our next piece of heart. That's another reason why I don't want to just sit here and wear it, because it'll do that. 
You don't want to forget anything. Alright. Okay, I'm going to take this off. It's getting kind of annoying. Yeah, like I said in the future, I'll find some way to fix that. Oh, sure. Put it back in the chest, shall we? <sighs> okay. Because every time someone hits me, it's going to make that noise. Alright, now let's go ahead and warp, warp to Lake Hylia. Alright. Lake Hylia, Lake Hylia, here I come. Now we're going to head to the Arbiter's Ground. Yeah, we don't need that unchecked yet, so I'm good to go. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go ahead and turn transform back into a human here. Alright. Now we're going to go and do the Arbiter's Grounds. And thus getting another heart container along the way. Yay me! Oh, and for this part... Oh my god, I haven't got the hawk eye yet. Uh, I guess we have one more errand to run. Oh my god, I'm gonna make sure I get the hawk eye for this part, it's, otherwise it won't be, be very fun. Is there something I want to do with that? No, it doesn't matter, I can just back and forth, so that we're good with that. No more running or walking. Just warping, plain old warping. This won't take long to get this one. Can't believe after all this time I still forgot the Hawkeye. What well, has it been like eight or four or five episodes <laughs> that I've forgotten? I was supposed to get it right on that very third or second episode. Well, right when I was going, I think it's the fourth episode actually. Yeah. Oh, that's just funny. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to talk to you. Move out of my way. Alright. Give me. I can't believe it. after all this time I still forgot to buy the son of a gun. I guess it's just a really forgetful item. <laughs> but believe me, I am definitely going to need it. Eventually. Maybe not for this, but I will need it eventually. Okay, let's go back here and warp. All right, to Lake Hylia again. You see, kind of veering off there, the target thing. I'm setting too close. All right, now we're gonna do Arbitrary's grounds. So let's go ahead and turn back to a person again, and let's get ready, prepared here. All right. I also might want to refill on this too, so just to be safe. Because once we're in the um, arbitrary's grounds, um, we'll be able to get more, so it doesn't really, you know, matter that much. All right, what will I need out the most? I'd say probably bombs, so I'll go with that. And I don't think I need my iron boots in this place, otherwise, maybe. Mm, I don't know, say this. I think I'll, yeah, I'll be needing that. All right, now we got everything that we need, so let's head over to the Arbitrary's Grounds. So first we gotta go talk to Aruru first. Aruru, however you pronounce his name. All right. So you just want to head up this way to that little looking tower or whatever you want to call it. You may call it a looking tower. Yep. 
And when we're in the desert, we will also be introduced to, I think, I don't know, I guess you call them lemurs or levers or whatever they're called. They're kind of annoying. I mean, they kind of run everywhere. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? You do know Telma, don't you? I am Aruru. I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I have heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Link? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that prison is condemned and even the road leading to the desert is impossible, imp impassable. This desert at world's end it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place. So I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I, have, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Yes, I actually do. Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aruru help you out. You see, Lake Hylia below us, a man named Fire, that's what I'm going to call him because I don't know how you properly pronounce that name, runs an amusement ride of sorts. There, give him this. Aruru's Memo. Memo. See, long ago I saved this man Fader's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Friar, all should go well. Alright, let's go ahead and get out this memo here. I don't know, I think you get the other bottle in the Arbitrary's grounds. I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I have to look that up. <laughs> it's funny because I'm supposed to be doing a walkthrough for you guys, and I don't know. But don't worry, I will know in time. So it will definitely be on my videos and my recordings because I intend to do 100% of this game. So and that's that. I think I want to have that on my to-do list there, huh? Alright, well, let's give this guy a visit. This guy fires... Fires a visit. Hmm, from old Aruhu, huh? Ah, well, I guess I ought to do what the old coot says. Oasis flight, right? So here you go, one of our secret options not available to the general public. This time's all paid for, so what do you say? You want to go? Go. Alrighty then, but remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis, fire in the hole! Haha, <laughs> yeah! You better fire me in the hole, or I'll fire you off the ship, off this little thing here. I mean, use it to my own advantage. You better believe it, buddy. Whee! To the desert we go. Gerudo Desert.
Wait, Link. Before we go on, there is something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely. The antithesis, antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most come to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, fleeting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the twilight, as it, as it, it, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? I am a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. It was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of Twilight into shadow beasts. I really hate that Zant. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was, was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. Aw, you'll come with me, won't you? It's kind of cute. Alright, now we're going to be getting something called the Dayfly. Alright. Now, the first Dayfly is straight this way. I think it's the middle Dayfly. I'm not sure which one it is, though. A quick soon here. Oh, well, I want to go ahead and... um. Get it out. Uh, let's see, what will I need? Oh, yeah, I had my bombs on there tonight. Oh, introducing the great lemurs of this desert. Or levers, or whatever they're called. Alright, well, they just keep coming forever, so you just gotta kind of ignore them. Alright, so my, the first one is straight this way. Alright. It can be hard to, they're a little difficult to, to spot in the daylight though, because it's so bright. But he'd be around here, this straight this way somewhere, so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for him and just try to avoid those idiots. God, they are, I can't even see. They're even rendering my vision even more than it already is. I need to get rid of some of them again. But there's no way to really kill all of them. Because they're, they're endless. Alright. Yeah, he's kind of hard to spot during the um, 
during the day. But he's right around here somewhere. I know that for to be a fact. Well, maybe if I go the opposite direction. Okay, well, I know one of them is in a trench, which is this way. Oh, wait, I think I see him. I seen him. See, they're really hard to spot. It's like right next to him, and I couldn't even see him hardly. I gotta wait for him to come down. Oh, he is down. Come on, you freaking dayfly. Gotcha. The male dayfly. Now, the female one is a little easier to get to. I tell you, I shit you not. Alright, well, you want to go ahead and get around there. Yeah, those things are a little vexing. N uh, now one whole heart's gone. Yeah, they aren't, don't do that much damage, though. There's not that much to worry about. Now, note this for later, you know, but we can't do nothing there just yet, so... We need something called the Dominion Rod. Now he's on the other trench. So that's where we want to head to. This trench. God, I can't freaking... Ugh. Uh, I think I got confused. I think he's in the other trench. Uh, Wii version. Sometimes it's kind of disorienting. Oh, no, I was right. It just wasn't exactly... Ugh, those things. Gotcha. Female Dayfly. Come here, I want to kill you. I have a fun time doing it, too. All right. Now what you want to do... Well, for those things not to get at you as much, stand right here. All right, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and... You want to aim for th uh, that right there. But you need to get a little closer, of course. Alright. Alright, you want to go ahead and let go. Ugh. Alright, now this is the part where you want to... Okay, I'm going to try and hit these things from way over here. Ah, uh, hit the wrong button. I'm trying to zoom in here. Hello there. I'm going to kill you. I hope you don't hold this against me. I want to aim a little high, I guess. I don't think it's getting to him. I, oh, it's a little way too far away, isn't it? All right, so I guess I want to go ahead and... Well, hey, I guess I can get that done later. For now, I just want to go up here and get that bridge where it belongs. Okay. All right, now for this one, I'm going to have to... Oh, I missed it completely. Okay, I'm going to lock onto it. Kind of in a mess. Come on, Link, stop that. Alright. Now I can either turn into a wolf or kill them all right here. As, as I'm gonna try and kill them as a person. If you don't mind. It might not be possible though. Ah, yeah, I'm just gonna turn into a wolf here. Uh, just take care of the sons of bitches. Bring it on. Uh, not enough room. Well, there is actually, but... Got him. Alright, now I can go ahead and get that bridge. As soon as you give me these hearts that I so richly desire and deserve. Alright, let's go ahead and get up here, shall we?
Hello, son. You're making it all dark. Alright. What's the... Well, obviously it's the bridge. Did I just warp to Death Mountain? I think if I was, it would mid... mid lead. Medley. Midna would be doing this. Yeah, I've been playing some Wind Waker on top of this. I just gotten as if you if you have watched my videos, I just got done with Dragon Rest Island on my last episode. Yep, I just warped here. Yeah. When I meant to warp here, up, uh, I gotta warp back, don't I? Fan freaking tastic. Ugh. I need to watch where I'm pointing that pointer. Alright, let's do this again, shall we? Warp. Now, let's be sure to warp to the Bridge of Elden, shall we? Ugh. Over there is the Arbitrary's Grant. guy fire said I have to pay next to every time I go to next time I want to take a wishes flight to the desert well sadly I don't ever have to pay him to get there anymore because I can just warp there <laughs> and so I'm going to warp back already <laughs> yeah I don't have to pay Jack squabble to get there now do I Ha 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 yeah. It is weird though that why there would be a gigantic lake right next to a desert. That doesn't seem realistic. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and transform back into a person. Yeah yeah. Now I wanna head this direction. Erection. Yeah, those guys are gonna render my aiming, so I wanna get on one of those platforms over there. Is that a little tunnel? Oh, no, just a bunch of skulls. I think I just used an arrow. Okay, I think I'm close enough now at least. Let's try that. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? I'm still too far away. You're joking me, right? Gotcha! Haha! <laughs> I think there's more of them, though. So, let's go ahead and be thorough about this, shall we? Bring it on, buddy. Gotcha. <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna come after me, isn't he? Gotcha. Oh my god, he got right, right there. That was so close. Come on, wild boy! Let's race some hell! Ride like the wind, bullseye! I'm -a gonna get you! I'm -a gonna get you! I'm -a gonna. Oh, I missed you. Well, hey, I did get you in the end. Ha <laughs> I'm -a gonna run you! I'm -a gonna run right through you like you weren't there. Okay. Ah! 
No, oh, crap. Okay. All right. Hello, Mr. Poe. Sadly, you can just stay there. <laughs> and let me go about my business. All right, not that way. All right, now I just want to probably get out my regular bow here. Okay. Arbitrary grounds. Well, we're almost there anyway, yes. Oh, I see you over there, Mr. Short Pants. Gotcha! Mr. Shorty Pants Head. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's one this way, too. I see you over there, buddy. And you're gonna die. It looks like he's just sleeping. It's a good thing he didn't get woke up then, huh? Alright, now, there's definitely going to be one over here. Gotcha! Nice try, isn't it? I see you over there, and I'm going to get ya! Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's going to be another enemy. Goodbye. Yeah, if I wasn't being discreet like this, they'd all bunch of them attacking me and everything. Goodbye. Alright, making sure that the coast is clear here. Make a safety shot here just in case. Alright, I think the coast is clear for now. Gotcha. This is fun. Being discreet and secure is my way of doing things. Ah ha ha ha, ass hat. Yeah, see, if, it wouldn't, if I wasn't taking out the ones up top there, they would come after me like a bunch of swarm of mobs. Well, I am running out of arrows. I'm not going to be discreet about you, though. You're already dead, buckaroni. Oh, I guess there's not one there. And even if there is, it doesn't really much matter anymore anyway. Okay, this is the part where I'm going... Oh! Got more arrows anyway. This is the part where I'm gonna need my bombs. Blow this thing up because this is where the you know piece of heart is. Yep. I got me another heart container! Yay! Alright, well, now what we wanna do is kind of backtrack here a little bit. Boy, I got through this place real smooth. Not a single problem. No one probably even noticed me. Except the one guy I killed it in front of his face. But he didn't live long enough to tell anyone. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Conveniently placed warthog. Oh, there's a catch. Not much of one, though. <laughs> I guess I gotta end off the episode as soon as I get to the Arbitrator's Grounds. I don't see why not. Alright, bring it on, move on. Oh, you little cheap shot. That was a cheap shot, buddy. Bring it on, move on. Bring it on, move on.
Ah, I got you. You can't do a thing about it. You little ass boob. And he limps away. And then he sets the place on fire. When he's nice and safe and out. The little pig. So the obvious thing I would do is go over here. <laughs> run, piggy, run! And I guess I can go ahead and do the dungeon. I don't see why not. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead on and up these stairs here. Okay. You want to head on over here to uncover a chest. And of course we go and open it. And we go put it back. Okay. Alright then. You say so, buckaroni. Alright, the Arbiter's Grounds. Arbiter's Grounds. Alright, now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get out your claw shot here. And you want to set it to aim properly. Alright. So I guess we have to have it unchecked for the time being. Alright. Oh, they're gotten bigger, huh? Come back or I ain't finished with you. I ain't finished with you, buddy. Hey, you don't get hit me and get away with it now, do ya? Alright. You wanna run across there real fast and then run across here. Got you, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> okay, that clearly wasn't far enough to me. Come here, you. And that opens up the door. Alright. Now, you want to go ahead and get a bottle of this um, stuff over here. Alright. Just for safekeeping. No, not that. Scoop. And it's completely free and everything. It's nice. And then here, we'll have a small key. With a bunch of skulls around it. Looks like dog skulls or something. Alright, our very first small key of the Arbiter's Ground Dungeon. You want to steer clear of those things. They'll make you weigh you down. Alright. All right. Oh, we can't see in here. We'll go ahead and get rid of all these goons. I can't see. Well, that's a waste. I 
I better go back and get some more then, huh? I think I got rid of the majority of them, or at least all of them. Alright. Go ahead up there. Now here's the part we want to unchecked fast depth calculation. Oh, kind of like the post sisters in the um, forest temple in Ocarina of Time. And one of them will stay here, the rest will scatter. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and transform into a wolf here. Have that fast depth calculation unchecked. All right, now you want to go and eat his soul out. All right. And that's one down. And three to go. One down, three to go. All right, now you want to go ahead and sniff him. No, not dig, sniff. Oh, we got first A. <laughs> yes, forget the scent of Ilya, though I wouldn't want to, but I have to to continue on. All right, now what you want to do is, I guess you want, first you want to go through here first and get rid of these rats. Alright, rats are not officially taken care of. Now, what you want to do, I just basically went in just to take care of the rats first, so I'll do it later. Alright, now what you want to do, you want to come out here, and you want to dig. Dig, not sense, dig. Well, I guess you have the sense on too. That's not so bad. Alright, you want to go ahead and pick up this, and thus lowering those steps. All right, now you want to go ahead and let go of that. I'm going to go ahead down here. All right, now there's some skulls we got to take care of before we, before we have some peace here. All right. I think there's, there's no more living ones. Wait a minute, I heard the music. Oh, I think it's behind the um, thing in there. All right, well, what you want to do, you want to come over here and push this. Thus opening that. All right, now you want to quickly become a human here. All right, now you want to get uh, some bomb arrows out. No, not that. Uh, get some bomb arrows out. This is a quick and snappy way to take care of these things. You want to hit him twice. Cause that's the only thing that really works. All right. All right. So you want to go ahead and turn back into a wolf. And get that chest. And that's containing a, our second small key of this dungeon. All right, now what you want to do, you want to go ahead and transform back into a person here. All right, now, you see that little opening right there? You wanna go ahead, actually, 
it won't work that way so you want to go ahead and grab this and twist this back around the way it was all right oh wait a minute I guess you do want to do that all right then so I guess you want to go ahead and go up here and you want to go through here first all right I'm gonna go ahead and turn into a wolf here and that's the one right there Goodbye. Come on. Bring it on, move 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 on. Come on, buddy. 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 I'm gonna rip your soul out. Your soul out of your body. All right. Another and down. All right, now you want to go ahead and head back here. I guess you can go ahead and transform into a person. Because you're going to need to be a person for this part. For the claw shot. That is. Just go ahead and go down here. Oh, we want to spin this thing around again. I suppose. Now, you want to go back up to the top, but you want to come out here. And thus freeing another flame. Two down, two to go. Uh, I guess, well, yeah, like I said, for this part, you're going to need to be a person for the claw shot for the majority of this part, I guess. All right, we're gonna go ahead here. Now that we've got our small key. All right, now then, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that guy out of the sandworks. Come back here. I'm not done with you yet, buddy. All right, you want to go ahead and roll kind of over here. Oh crap! Got to be careful. I want to run into one of those things. Oh, I got you good, didn't I, buddy? All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull this out. And then you want to go ahead and push that in there. There we go. Now, what you want to do is you want to head on up here. You want to grab this and pull it as far as back as you can, and then run as fast as you can. All right. You want to make your way this way, the thing falls on your head. Take care of these goon heads. Oh, one that's on fire. Creepy. Alright, now what you're going to do is go ahead and see what's in this chest here. Real fast. I think it's the dungeon map. Oh, nope, the compass. One out of every shot, I guess. I'm being right. Alright. And now what you want to do is you want to push this. Oh, we're pushing it the wrong way. Okay. You want to go ahead and push this. All right, see, there's a, now you wanna go ahead this way real fast. Now you wanna bring out your bow again. 
Oh, your bow. Let's back up a little bit here. I'm gonna hit this guy two times. It's the fastest and easiest and most reliable way to kill them. You wanna go ahead and open this up to open up this chest here? Hey, that's weird. I just aimed and shot him with a bow and arrow with the skip EFB axis from CPU checked. That's odd. Okay then. <laughs> okay. And it aimed at him just fine. I guess it's bound to happen once in a while. Alright, now for this one, this next one, you're gonna run into a bunch of those little dudes over there. And two of those um, redads. Oh, well, there's gonna be more than just that, too. I think there's two of those redeads, I'm not entirely sure. I still wanna keep my distance from them. Until I wanna get rid of these guys first. Ah, how many of these little dudes is there? Oh, that big guy's coming after me now. Go ahead and get my bomb arrows back out. That's weird, it's aiming just fine. That's not exactly normal. Well, if it wants to work, it wants to work. I'm not holding anything against it. Don't want to let those things get too close to you either. Alright, now you want to go ahead and turn into a wolf. And you want to dig this thing up, turn on your sensors, and pick that up, and then pull. And then let go of it. And lo and behold, there's another Poe. Bring it on, buddy. I got you before you got me. Come on, turn bright blue again. Thank you. You are now dead. Give me that soul, Poe soul. Alrighty. Alright, well, I gotta end off this episode right about here. Alright. I gotta end off this episode because it's exactly at 15 gigs. Alright. Well, that's it for this long play, guys. So. If you have enjoyed this long play episode in any capacity, please click like and thanks for watching.